How's it going guys? I'm Jamie Carmack and welcome to review this year. The show I wrote wait. Wait. Christmas! I love Christmas, as you can tell by my tie. So, why don't I spread my joy and love for the holiday by bringing my hatred to my fellow man. And that fellow man today is Adam Sandler. For the record, I hate Adam Sandler, I'm not going to lie. I just don't like his style of comedy. I'm sure he's a nice guy off camera, but when he's on camera, he's... <laughs> Shut up! A dick. Most of the time he is just an ass to everyone and we expect to get a laugh or two from it. I just don't like his casted roles. I don't like his personality. I don't like his subpar films. The only movie he starred in that I can happily watch over and over again is Ring Over Me. Everything else is just a slim pass. And seeing as it's nearly Christmas, as you can tell by my tie, oh yeah. How about we review the only Christmas themed movie that Adam Sandler has appeared in? Eight Crazy Nights. And yes, I know it's also Hanukkah theme too. We open up with our narrator setting the story. All right. Look at all that beautiful white stuff come down. Christmas is right around the corner. And Hanukkah starts tonight. And then we come across the guy everyone loves to hate, or at least just me anyway, Adam Sandler, playing... Well... Yeah, it's just fucking Adam Sandler. Davey gets in trouble with the police after not paying his restaurant bill and they give chase. Okay, he can hardly stand before, yet he's able to easily outrun the police in their cars. And because it's a Christmas slash Hanukkah theme movie, we also need a song. I'm the kind of guy who can't stand a holiday. He sings that everyone hates him and he hates the holidays and because this song is cut short, he gets caught and is sent to court the following day. During the hearing an elderly old man, Whitey, played by... Just try and guess. But that don't stop me from enjoying a holiday. That's right, Hannah Sandler! I guess he got the stereotypical woman and old man mixed up when he's done. Oh, well, Adam Sandler's just a dick. Whitey convinces the judge to take Davey under his care to try and reform him. Whitey takes Davey to the youth basketball court where Whitey referees at. We are told by the narrator a special event will soon be taking place. The voting has begun for the highest honor anyone in town could receive. I think it's gonna be your year, Whitey. I really do. Jelly Jugs, next time you come on my court, you better wear a bra, okay? <laughs> he was just kidding, son. You got very nice boobs. Whitey takes him to the mall just to chill out after the game. And to me, the mall is the best place to do that. So what's good about this place? Ooh, what's good about it? Everything! Stupid David, don't you know anything? They got elementary dribble feeders, toilet seats, electric heater. Whitey tries to talk sense into David, but fails. And an old friend of David comes over to talk to Whitey. For you too much. Benjamin, an edgy sketch, not too shabby. That's a Game Boy, you idiot. Oh, sorry, I'm not up on modern technology. First night, I get a basketball and some dreidels. Then night two, I get a pup tent so I can camp in the backyard. And tonight, I got this. Wow. Well, maybe on night four, the Hanukkah monster will come and take a big crap on your bed. Thanks for sharing the holiday spirit, Psycho. Come on, Benjamin. You can help me clean them up and trace. Bye, Whitey. See you at the game tomorrow. While they are driving home, Whitey makes a chilling discovery. I guess that means I stole it, doesn't it? <laughs> Easy seizure, boy! Oh, that's it! I'm calling the judge! Yes! Take him to jail! Make him learn that drop himself in the shower is not a good idea, and maybe he'll learn never to be like this again! That's what jail's for! And get out! Oh no, you're gonna make me walk 10 feet? Cause that's where I live, idiot! I'm letting this one go, Stone! But next screw up, it's slammer time! Davey goes to 
goes back into his trailer while YT is still stuck in the snow. Hey! <laughs> A little help, fellas? <laughs> It's cartoon logic, I've got nothing. Doesn't it always make you feel good when you see a group of deer helping a motorist in need? But I bet Whitey wishes they showed up earlier, because his sister Eleanor gets a little edgy when he's late. This stereotypical Jewish woman voice her. Who the hell is voicing this woman? Somehow that makes sense. Eleanor and Whitey are talking about how Whitey is his showing for the patch, but Eleanor is a bit worried he's setting himself up for failure again. Just don't get your hopes up too high about the patch. Well, will you look at that? It's a jackass in the box. <laughs> what is up with these people? What have they got against the old man? America! Your dicks! Hey, what are you doing? Old man covered in shit. It happens. That's your grandfather. That's a good look for you, but for health reasons, I should probably spray you off. A little help, please. <laughs> okay, but this is the last time we lick shit off you. Davey like is called to the basketball now. court so Whitey can teach him some of the rules of basketball. When the player overhears that Davey thinks he can take him, Davey agrees to take him on with Whitey, but Whitey gets injured and the kid is called onto the court. Training the midget for a spaz? This is gonna be even sadder. They manage to beat him and just when we thought Davey is beginning to change, he gets the kid to say... Say what I told you to say. Eat that nut strap, biatch! And the mother arrives in time to hear the kid. <laughs> Don't ever use that kind of language again. Do you hear me? I'm sorry. Aw, he's just having some fun. Cursing and acting like a jerk may be your idea of fun, but it's not going to be his. One day As they drive home, we get another song, but is abruptly interrupted when Davey's trailer is set on fire by one of the plays he beat earlier. Fire? <laughs> So Davy is invited to stay at Whitey's house and we get a full uninterrupted song. If you're coming from the street with dirty shoes, these on songs feet, are terrible! They're terribly out. written, terribly choreographed, and terribly sung! Please! No! Oh. Please no! I can't watch this more! I need, I need a break, I need a break, I need a break. Yeah, I'll just get my family to do the rest. Back to the review! Time passes and Davey seems to be changing for the better as he helps around the house and generally becomes nice. We also get an insight as to why he's the way he is. So you're all gonna get presents tonight anyway. Listen, kid, I know you just won the game for us, but the writers want to make you out to be a dick in a movie you're going to be in when you're older, so here's a letter your parents wrote for you before they died in a car crash. Happy Hanukkah! But by bringing up the pass, it seems to have hurt Davey and he lashes out. But that patch thing ain't ever gonna happen for you, because the truth is, nobody in this town even knows you exist! The two go home and try to forget about what Davey said, hoping he will come back. Davey goes off to break into the mall, and because the plot needs to move forward, he has an hallucinetic dream. What's the matter with the way I live my life, huh, Jennifer? Where are you? Home reading your baby boy at bedtime? Hey, beauty! And... What's that? He's actually crying? 12-year-old... 
He finally opens up the card and we Save get uh, what I'm guessing judge. is a sad moment. Huh. A rare breed in Adam Sandler's movies that actually makes you feel sad for him. Huh. A rare case indeed. Some cops arrive to come and arrest him but he manages to give them a slip. Wow, I actually get to use this joke. Surprise butt sex. It's real. Whitey and Eleanor will go to the event where the announced winner of the patch is announced. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Mom, I didn't get that one. I don't think anybody did. Davy catches a bus to go to New York, but fate seems to be a bitch tonight. <laughs> Nice driving skills, pal. That's the strangest thing I've ever seen. One thumbtack popped all eight of my back tires. He sees this as a sign and goes to apologize to the people he's wronged. That out. <laughs> but before he can, the winner of the patch is about to be announced. After 35 years, Whitey is finally going to get his patch. For some reason, John Levitz, who is only paid for this plot convenience moment, is declared a winner. But Davey isn't happy about it. And because they don't take him seriously, he has to sing about it! That'll make him listen! Somehow this actually does get the crowd singing too! Sound to me like you are all on crack! It's a Christmas miracle! We have good singers in this movie! Whitey and Eleanor go to the happy place, the mall, to try and cheer themselves up. Davy goes to the mall and brings the entire town. I came to apologize, Whitey. Well, there's nothing to apologize for, Stone. Tonight, for the first time in years, your partner, Davy Stone, actually did a good thing for this community. I'm here to fix a big mistake. I proudly present to you the 35th annual Dukesbury All-Star Patch. But this is tons. Mr. DeVall, the 35th All-Star Patch is now where it belongs. I can't believe this is happening. The 27th oh, And everyone lives happily ever after. The Hanukkah blessing. So does Lenny's That was eight crazy nights, and what a terrible movie! It's boring, it's stereotypical, it's not funny, it's got terrible voice acting from Adam, and out of play musical numbers. Damn, doesn't do a good job at making us feel sorry for the old man. The climax wasn't really built up enough, and it felt rushed, but it does the job in making us feel happy at the end. Christmas movies are made to give us something to feel good for our fellow man, and although it fails at being an enjoyable movie, it does succeed in that regard. And yes, I know it's more Hanukkah themed than Christmas, but they do a good job in balancing the two. This isn't one I would recommend, so I wouldn't even bother trying to look for this movie. Anyway, I'm Jamie the Comic, and I review the shit you are too pussy to watch. Watching videos all over the internet Onto YouTube we go Don't you ever fret We have all the stuff That you want to watch Check out my other film reviews Or I'll kick you in the crotch Oh, please subscribe, please subscribe Please subscribe right now You can also check out some more reviews By clicking above Please subscribe, please subscribe Please subscribe right now Please remember to also like, comment, favorite, and share. Please subscribe.